welcome back to my channel. And happy 2024. This is the first video that I'm filming in the new year. I'm currently starting this video on Tuesday, January 9th. And because it's the new year, my entire YouTube is recommending like New Year's resolution videos, planner videos, get ready for 2024 with me and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to do a little week in my life and like prep for the new year with you guys. I know it's the second week of the new year. I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but this past week I went on a three day cruise for my grandmother's birthday to Ensenada, Mexico. It was so much fun. All 22 members of my family went. I had a really great time. I didn't vlog that because it was just important for me to spend time with family. But if you guys want to see more of my trip, I vlogged it on TikTok and I also posted some pictures on Instagram in case you want to see some content from that trip. But hi, welcome to the vlog. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. I'm feeling extra chatty. That's why I'm starting this vlog on Tuesday because yesterday I got back from the cruise. I was exhausted. I like slept all day. So today, Tuesday is kind of acting as my Monday. As you can see behind me, my bed is bare and that's because my sheets are getting washed. Well, my sheets are done. They're right there. But my comforter still in the dryer so I'm waiting for everything to be all done to put it on. There is nothing better than starting off the new year with a clean room and clean sheets. So I spent the day unpacking. I took down all my Christmas decorations. I feel like my room is looking so bare. I'm definitely gonna need to get some flowers right there because my Christmas tree is no longer there and it's making me very sad. I unpacked for my trip. I cleaned my room. I put a bunch of Christmas presents away that I hadn't. I cleaned my sheets. I took a bath and shaved, exfoliated, put on a bunch of lotion. I'm feeling super clean and ready for the week. I have my comfort show on in the background but because this is like the start of the vlog I thought it would be fun to go over my New Year's resolutions with you guys and show you my vision board for 2024 with that being said here's my vision board for the year if I could describe this year in one word it would be mature I feel like this is the year that I'm gonna put on my big girl pants become an adult I know I'm 21 but I feel like this is the year that I'm gonna start taking shit seriously and hopefully there's gonna be a lot of good changes this year so I'm looking at my resolutions on my phone right now some ones that I have every year are like work out more do more self-care my reading goal for this year is to read 40 books if I can get over that amazing last year was 30 and I hit that goal Maybe in this video I'll do like a reading wrap-up of all the books that I read in 2023 I want to move out into my first apartment this year. I want to start my bachelor's degree at ASU online I want to enter my red era because I'm turning 22 next month I want to continue journaling because that's a hobby that I found last year that I really love I want to try getting more staple pieces in my wardrobe that way I can rewear them a bunch and just like have classic time outfits you guys know I love to travel my main travel goal this year is that I really want to go to Nashville I've never been and I feel like I'm entering my cowgirl era and I really want to go there this year I want to post more here on YouTube because YouTube has always been a passion of mine and I love filming videos and editing them and just grow our community on here I really want to get better at cooking this year because if I'm gonna move out I'm gonna be having to cook a lot more by myself and with Gianni so I feel like that's something that I want to get better at I really want to go horseback riding maybe we'll do that for my birthday I want to spend more time outdoors because that was something that made me really happy last year in the summertime so I want to take advantage of LA having good weather although right now it's like pretty cold and rainy but when it starts warming up that's when we'll spend more time outside I want to spend good quality time with my girls and make new friends I really want to work on my heel collection this year because that's something I've been slacking in I want to try new date ideas with Gianni I feel like we have our go-to date ideas but I feel like there's just so much of the world for us to explore and like new ideas and last but not least I want to prioritize myself because in 2023 that's something that I did and I can confidently say that 2023 was my best year so you know how everyone is saying new year new me I'm honestly hoping for new year same me but with better development because I was just so happy last year and looking back at all my memories and doing my 2023 recap I had the best year ever and I hope 2024 brings as much happiness as 2023 did as for being organized something that I'm trying this year is having a physical planner I always use Google planner but I wanted something a little bit more physical because like I told you guys I really got into journaling and I absolutely love writing stuff down so I'm gonna start carrying this with me every single day and if you're curious this is the planner from Amanda Rach Lee it's the same company that I use for my book journal I'm so excited to start using this I want to show it to you guys she's actually a youtuber and I love her so much I found her through her bullet journal making videos she's so talented I'll have her username here on the screen but I love this planner because it's basically a coloring book she did all the doodles and all the prompts for you like as you can see all the calendars are 
are written out for you which is something that i hated doing when i was bullet journaling so this is really nice that she has it all laid out for you and it's like a coloring book i feel like this is so pretty the january theme is like hot air balloons and clouds so i did kind of a blue theme but it has a little cover page it has an overall calendar it has a habit tracker and a mood tracker which i absolutely love so some of the habits i'm tracking this month are working out reading drinking water journaling waking up early and then my mood tracker obviously and then i just have some january goals like one lunch with a friend 24 hours on social media one day outdoors one day trying new things i saw this on pinterest and i want to try to see if this makes my month better and then it has the weekly spreads which i love so yeah that's all the prep that i'm doing for 2024 let me know how you want to improve your year what new habits are you trying to track let me know it's currently 6 53 i'm waiting for gianni to get home and then we're going to lauren's because we haven't done our gift exchange yet so we're gonna go over to her house spend some time together open christmas presents and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit good morning guys it is currently 8 43 in the morning i have a coffee i'm drinking the chamberlain coffee vanilla latte they're actually so good and they're very convenient so i think i'm gonna need to go to the grocery store and get more of those later but good morning i'm currently on my way to do a bunch of car errands and i'm so tired i swear it sucks doing like these kinds of errands first thing in the morning when you really don't want to like i was fighting myself getting out of bed i think i hit snooze on my alarm like eight times but you know we're up and that's all that matters this morning i have to get my tire replaced because i got a full service the other day and they basically were like you have a nail in your tire so i have to go deal with that because i have to drive kind of far today and then after that i have to get gas because i have 50 miles left before i run out so we're gonna fill up the tank maybe go through the car wash it's a car filled morning and we have to get a bunch of stuff done As you can see, I'm now home in bed. I already put on some pajamas. I swear I've changed like five times today already. But I had so much fun at Studio K. I didn't even have time to explain to you guys why I was there and everything. Because I was running so late after doing all my car errands this morning. But I went to get my hair cut last week. And my hair girl, Lara, was like, why don't you come in next week? We can do some makeup, do some hair, take some pictures. So that's why I went. I feel like my makeup turned out so pretty. And I love my hair. We had little bows in it. But I took it out because I wanted to be comfy while I chilled at home. But Gianni was so sweet he knew i was getting my hair and makeup done so he texted me that he made a dinner reservation at our favorite restaurant tonight so i'm gonna chill until then i think i'm gonna put on this movie it's called it's complicated it's by nancy myers the parent trap is one of my favorite movies of all time so i want to continue watching her films because i want to have like a coastal grandmother mature aesthetic this year like i said yesterday this is the year of maturing but while i watch the movie i think i'm gonna read my book as you guys saw i've been reading this all day this is daisy hates by jessa hastings it's the second Second book in the magnolia park series i'm so happy that i have the original covers i updated you guys while i was reading the first one i absolutely loved it if you don't know this is like the british version of gossip girl so the first book is about magnolia and bj and their whole friend group and then the second book is about daisy and julian hates and christian and like all the characters are intertwined between the series it's like a found family so if you like that vibe i definitely recommend it there's so much drama there's so much tea i'm obsessed with it i'm currently on page 222 which is an angel number how cute but i'm really really enjoying this i will say it's taking me a little bit to read because it is a bit of a thicker book and something that's like kind of bothering me is that a lot of the scenes are repeated from the first book so i'm excited to get to the next book and get like all new scenes where i know nothing but a lot of this is like overlapping with the first book you're just getting different perspectives but for now i'm gonna read and watch this movie So 
it is now Thursday and as you can see I'm currently doing my makeup I haven't caught up with you guys today because honestly I haven't done much that was like vlog worthy I was editing a vlog and then I read a bunch of my book I'm now on like page 354 so I'm like 80% done with Daisy Hates and I'm absolutely loving it so far I feel like it really picked up around like 50% where I talked to you guys yesterday so I've just been so invested in it and now it's like all I can think about so I spent a lot of today reading and now I'm getting ready because I have an event to go to which is super fun you guys saw my vlogs from La Jolla and Pismo Beach and it's with the company that I work with for those trips they're having an event tonight at the Waldorf Astoria and it's gonna be super bougie I have to find something pretty to wear I literally have no idea what I'm wearing and I have to leave in 20 minutes luckily we're working with second day hair so it should take me pretty quick to fix this I also have to film a quick little brand deal before I leave so I'm running kind of late but you know what it's fine I had a very chill and relaxing day I'm obviously gonna vlog tonight but I'll vlog more tomorrow we'll spend more time together I'm going to a workout in the morning and then I want to do some shopping because I got a ton of gift cards for Christmas I want to get something new from skims because that is my recent obsession and just kind of have some alone time so I'm gonna vlog that I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to wear because they said it's like winter attire like a winter formal and like I don't know what to wear because I feel like all my nice dresses I've worn so many times and I want to try to do something new but but while I'm here I thought I would ask you guys I'm looking for a new TV show I'm thinking of watching my life with the Walter boys because I've just seen so many people talk about it or I was also thinking of starting Teen Wolf one thing about me is I can fly through a show so the more seasons the merrier because I've already watched One Tree Hill I've already watched Gossip Girl the Vampire Diaries the OC the summer I turned pretty for context those are the shows that I like to watch so like dramas with heavy subplots of romance some comedy thrown in there as well so if you guys have any recommendations based off of the shows I just told you please let me know I don't know what lip I want to do yet because that's gonna be based on what I'm wearing I'm debating on wearing a red lip in honor of Ari's new song coming out tonight which we haven't even talked about <sighs> I'm so excited I'll like definitely tell you guys my thoughts in this video I think the music video comes out tomorrow morning <laughs> my girl is back I'm so excited but I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I literally have no idea. I'll get back to you guys with an outfit of the day when I figure out what I'm wearing. Guys, is this cute? I feel like this is like really, really short and I'm honestly feeling a little bit self-conscious. I haven't worn this dress since Gianni and I's two year anniversary and we're going on our seven year. I don't know, I have booty shorts on, but like I'm really afraid of flashing someone. So I'm gonna wear this dress with these shoes that I got for Christmas. They're from INC in case you're wondering. I love them so much. And I I feel like it will look really cute especially like with the bow in my hair and like with this bag is this cute i don't know i hate feeling rushed we didn't do the red lips so we gotta represent ari in some way today so i'm gonna be wearing pink cloud this was a christmas gift from lauren you guys know i absolutely love the original maybe her next fragrance that comes out i'll do a review because you guys really liked when i did that for thank you next but like i don't know how to describe it you know those perfumes that you smell and i feel like this just smells like me that's how i feel with the cloud fragrances okay i guess i'm all ready to go to the event i'm gonna bring my shoes in the car so i don't have to drive in heels but i will see you guys at the waldorf astoria next day it is now Friday and I have had the most lovely morning so far it's currently 11 30 as you guys saw I went and worked out at training mate my favorite place I swear my day is always the best when I start it there I also am drinking an Alani energy drink I listen to my morning affirmations on the way to my workout and then on my drive after I listen to one of my favorite podcasts I'm just like in the best mood but now it is time to go shopping as I told you guys I got some gift cards for Christmas so there's a couple places that I want to go to the first place that I want to go to is Nordstrom I do not have a gift card there, but I want to get some stuff from skims because it's actually changed my life Like I don't know how I was living without it I love it so much and they're like staple pieces that I think everyone needs in their wardrobe I know they're on the pricier side There are some dupes on Amazon that I want to try but the quality is just so good So I'm gonna see if there's anything new that I don't have I have a gift card for Sephora. I have a gift card for Ulta I have a gift card for Barnes. So we're gonna get some new makeup and some new books today I don't know. I'm just in a great mood. I'm feeling very happy tonight. I think Gianni 
Lauren and I are gonna go to see Mean Girls, which I'm so excited for. I've actually never seen Mean Girls the musical. I've always wanted to. In case you don't know, I love musicals. They're like my favorite thing ever. I did musical theater when I was in middle school and like I was a total theater kid. My favorite movie growing up is Fan of the Opera. I love Mamma Mia. La La Land is my favorite movie of all time. So I eat up a musical every single time and I'm so excited because I love this cast. I love Renee Rapp. I love Chris Brindley. There's so many other actresses in this movie that I love. I just don't know their names off the top of my head. But I'm so excited to see Renee Rapp as Regina. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So I'll take you guys along for that. But the first stop on today's shopping spree is the mall. I had the most lovely day. When I got home, I ate some food that I picked up from my mom and I at our favorite restaurant in Calabasas. It's called Sagebrush. If you're ever in the area, they have the best salads. And then I took a shower, I washed my hair, did my skincare, and for the past like hour, I've just been on my phone watching Mean Girls interviews, getting ready for tonight. But I thought I would give you guys a haul of everything that I got because I'm really excited. I got some really good stuff. Starting out with Nordstrom. I believe I showed you guys me trying on this one. You can't really tell the color because it's a little bit dark in here the sun's about to set but it's like this like pale dusty blue bodysuit these bodysuits are my new obsession i just love the material i feel like it's so flattering it's like absolutely perfect to wear with jeans and then i just got this cream bodysuit that's like short sleeved i feel like this will look really cute again with jeans you can even dress them up with like a leather pant or a skirt they're just so comfortable and expect a lot of skim hauls or just me wearing skims a lot in 2024 the next place that i went to was sephora I used some points to get some freebies so I got a mini precisely my brow pencil from Benefit and then I got this Tula skincare hydrating moisturizer then I repurchased my favorite foundation this is the makeup by Mario surreal skin foundation I absolutely love it I think this is my third time or fourth time repurchasing then I got the tower 28 SOS daily rescue facial spray I've heard a lot of people talk about this I've been dealing with breakouts a little bit more than usual so I thought it would be fun to try this a lot of people say it's really good for acne I'll keep you guys updated. I don't have anything crazy, but I have been having a lot of breakouts and I don't know why. And then the last thing that I got from Sephora is the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is in the color Sunrise. It has SPF 40. I love wearing this before a workout or just like days where I don't want to wear makeup because it makes your skin look really good and you get your sunscreen. I love this product. Again, I think I've repurchased this like 80 times. Not actually. Probably like around 5 times. I guess I'll keep on the makeup trend. Then I went to Ulta. I picked up a new beauty blender or makeup sponge. This one is from Morphe. It's their highlight and contour one, but I love this because it has a flat edge. And then I was out of my mascara primer. So this one is from L'Oreal. I usually use the one from Lancome, but I really wanted to try this out because my regular mascara is also the same brand. So I feel like they would mix really well, but I swear by mascara base. I literally cannot wear my eyelashes without falsies without it. If you have straight lashes, try using one of these. I swear it works so well. I don't know about this one in particular, but I think just any primer mascara base in general. Then I got a new moisturizer i just told you guys i was out and this one is from the brand peach slices i really like this brand in general all their products that i've tried is amazing a lot of their products use snail mucinex i hope i'm saying that right 
I don't really know, but this is their Snail Rescue All-in-One Deep Moisture Cream. It says it's intensive hydration for soft, calm skin, and I am dealing with the driest skin this winter, so hopefully this will keep me very hydrated. And then last but not least, I repurchased my favorite lip gloss. I haven't purchased it in a while, and I've missed it so much. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. I swear, it's just like the perfect shade of pink. I feel like it goes on top of any lipstick, whatever. I love Fenty so much. Also, this packaging is just so pretty. And then last but not least, I went to Barnes & Noble. And I know I got some good books because when I was checking out, the girl was like, you pick some good books. The first book that I got is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This went viral last year and I didn't get on the bandwagon, but I've heard so many people rave about this. And I want to see for myself. It's kind of like a thicker book. I honestly thought it would be shorter. I think it's like almost 500 pages. I'm pretty sure it's Enemies to Lovers. I honestly don't know. Ooh, on the front it says Hunted Hunter Destined for Each Other. I'm so excited to read this book. I have heard amazing things. The next book that I got is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Again, this book went very viral last year. I've heard amazing things. I think these two people are rivals in something. Maybe it's school. I don't know. This one's a little bit shorter, which is nice. As you guys know, I usually go into books blind, so I really don't know what it's about. But I wanted to pick up both of these because both of the sequels come out this year. I believe Divine Rivals, the one is already out. But the second book in this series or duology is coming out soon. The next book I got is very, very popular. This is The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. She is like one of the most popular thriller authors and I just have never read anything by her. And this one has insane reviews. Everyone I know who's read it absolutely loved it. I think there's some good plot twists. I'm excited. I've really been in the mood for a thriller so I can see myself reading this very soon. And then the last book I'm so excited for. This is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage and the reason I'm so excited for this is because as you guys know- It's five o'clock on Friday. <sighs> The reason I'm so excited for this one is because as I've told you guys a bunch of times in this vlog I'm really getting into my country cowgirl era and my favorite series of all time is the chestnut spring series You guys know I literally haven't shut up about it. If you haven't read it yet What are you doing? A lot of people who have read that series say that this one is really really good And I believe this is also gonna be a small town romance series The books also just like perfectly floppy. I'm so excited to read this one I really wanted to get Elsie Silver's other series. I believe it's like in the race or something like that. It's the one that actually came before Chestnut Springs, but they only sell it online, so I think I'm gonna have to order that. But yeah, that's my haul. I know I just got a bunch of new books, but I think I'm gonna start Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. I don't know what it is, but like once I start a series, I feel like I can't read other books until I finish it. I'm hoping that I fly through this one. A lot of people who have read this series say that this one is their favorite, so I'm hoping I really like it and I fly through it. I gave Magnolia Park's 4.5 stars, and then I gave Daisy Hates 4 stars. I I'm curious if this is gonna be a five star read for me or if it's gonna be like in the four range like the others. This cover is just absolutely magical. Like I can't express enough how happy I am that I got the original covers. So I think I'm gonna start this. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Before I go, I did go to Trader Joe's and I got flowers. Aren't they so cute? I would get up to show you, but I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I went for like a yellow and white theme. I think they're so cute. Also, yes, I have friends on. If you haven't noticed, a pattern. I just love having friends on at all times. It just makes me feel so comforted and cozy. But yeah, I'll be here for the next several hours and I will talk to you guys when we are going to the movies. What's up, Brookie's Cookies? Brookie's <laughs> Cookies? <laughs> Rookie's cookies. This is funny. God damn. <laughs> These debuting my new hair color here on Brooks channel. We're currently at CPK. This is a California, California staple. <laughs> We're having some spin dip. Um, pepperoni pizza and I just want to say welcome to the vlog and we're so excited to have you. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have anything you want to say to no. Brookie's cookies? Brookie's cookies was good. You got Crazy. It. You got it? That was so loud. We escaped. Did you like the escape room? It was good. Perfectly timed. They give you 15 minutes and it took us 51 minutes and 15 seconds. So. We technically didn't escape, but you know what? A for effort. The escape room was also in this sketchy ass place. We are literally the only car. Did you like it, Lauren? Me? Yeah. 
like a six out of ten. I feel like that's a fair rating. The problem is, is that we've done like, I kid you not, probably a hundred escape rooms because especially last year we would go on benders where we would do like five in one day. So I know this sounds like stupid, but it's like kind of hard to impress us now. <laughs> it takes a lot. <laughs> but like, oh my God, Mark is coming tonight. Yay! <laughs> Yay! It's hard to enjoy escape rooms now because we've For just real. done really, really good ones and really, really bad ones. If you guys are ever in the LA area and want to do an escape room, I recommend Project Minotaur. <laughs> if you guys are ever in the area, go to that one. <laughs> But I think we're calling it for tonight. Tomorrow we're going golfing and we're going to another escape room and Mark will be with us. So we're at golfing and then we're going to islands and then we're going oh, to we're just escape like room. Piece of your heart. Um, um, you like it? <laughs> like what? Does it taste like dry bar? Did you go there? No, I just used dry bar product. Can you smell it? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. <laughs> yeah, it smells like dry bar. <laughs> We're going to this escape room later that like everyone on Reddit, <laughs> which speaking of, I oh. went on Reddit one time and my feelings got so hurt. Oh. I never want to go in there again. Bro, people on Reddit are crazy. There's a whole thread. Then I looked up our name and there was this whole conspiracy about us being lovers and that we were dating. And someone was like, why do you think Brooke is always like not as in the picture whenever she gets a boyfriend? And I was like, I'm literally here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stash house, and apparently it's really good. And we're getting islands. So we fun. This is Hi, my vlog. Oh, what's up, vlog? <laughs> so it is Sunday night. It is the end of this week, or the beginning of the new week, technically. I normally start my like new weeks on mondays let me know in the comments down below are you a sunday new week person or a monday new week person gianni do you think the new week starts on sunday or monday 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 okay me too but i'm back home i put on my cute little matching brandy set skincare is done and i am in bed we went to islands it was super good and then we went to the escape room and the stash house one was insane basically this escape room place only has one room at this location and the entire place is all the escape room it was so much fun but it was super late and now i'm very very tired but i hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog sorry if you can hear friends i wasn't kidding when we literally have this on at all times but i hope you guys enjoyed i feel like i did a lot this week and maybe that was entertaining hopefully it was i hope you guys like this video but i want to try vlogging more like everyday stuff almost like we're on facetime like me grocery shopping morning routines night routines talk more about books and just like more cozy content at home because i feel like 2024 especially because i want to move out it's going to be the year of me being comfortable feeling inside and like not getting fomo like i just want to make really Really good routines and just like be on top of my shit but anywho i'm rambling i love you guys subscribe to my channel join the b family if you haven't already i would absolutely love to have you a part of it and i will see you guys in my next video love you say bye bye vlog <laughs>